Greetings. We are going to go now over a couple more NumPy things, and then we're going to get straight into sinusoids, which is one of the key mathematical concepts in the entire course. Everything is based on it. So we'll start to get some experience with that now. But first, let's talk about NumPy again. So recall that if I say something like this, x is equal to mp.a range 100, that is going to, oops, I have to run this, I have to run my imports first, okay. Um, that's gonna generate a NumPy array starting at zero and going up to but not including 100. And somebody in class noticed that there are no commas here, but um, this really does behave exactly like a Python list. So a NumPy array, you can slice an index just like a Python list. So if I say print x at index zero, that happens to be zero, print x at index one, that's a one. Okay, and so on and so forth. And then the last element is a 99, like we said. Okay, let's say I wanted to do the following. Let's say I want to generate 100 samples start, um, equally spaced, starting at zero and ending at one. Okay, so it seems like I'm, I'm close. Um, let me just try to say this, maybe, maybe it's that. So here we go, it looks like index zero, I start at zero, index um, 99, so the last element, looks like I end up at, at one there. Uh, but if I look closer, that's not actually quite right. So I do see that I start off at zero, but the last element is actually not one, it's very close, but it's 0.99. So, if I think a little more about this, well, I see I really should be dividing this by, by 99 instead. Um, okay, so let's see, did that do it? Yeah, okay. So that's all right, um, but it's, you know, it's gonna get a little more complicated if I then say, okay, generate some, some equally spaced maybe between 0.5 and 1.7. Okay, we're always gonna have to do this arithmetic and then divide by the length minus one and it's gonna, I don't know, it's just gonna get a little messy. So, so there is a command or a method in NumPy that's gonna help us out here called linspace. So I'll just show you how you would do it in this example. Here would say x is equal to mp.linspace, zero, one, 100. And I'll do the same thing, I'll plot x and then I'll print out the first and the last element, whoops. All right, so, so here, here's what linspace lin does. It linearly spaces a bunch of elements starting at the first parameter, ending at the second parameter, and it takes this many. So this is a much easier way to, to do what, what I was just um, saying with that linspace command. So now we can do you know, more complicated intervals. So I could say something like, okay, let me take 32 equally spaced um, samples between negative pi and pi. So that all that is, is I'm gonna say x is equal to mp.linspace negative, okay, so it turns out there's a constant in numpy called pi, lowercase pi, and I'm gonna take 32 samples. And just so you can really see each sample, let me do a stem plot. And there it is. So now you can really see how, how this is totally, submit. there's an even number of samples, the, the first half are negative, the second half are positive. So you can see that symmetry there. And you even have to think, Python just takes care of it for you. Okay, so linspace can come in handy. So I, I want you to just do a quick, quick exercise on that, and then we'll move on. 